Hello everyone. Let's hope my glasses don't create a lot of shine. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks so much for being here today. We are so excited to be with you. Yes, we are. Well, 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 what am I talking about today? You know, I want to bring meaning and thoughts that provoke very serious things that we should think about. I'm going to end my video today with one of those quotes. And we're going to be talking about this whole Martha Stewart and Meghan Markle thing, because I think Martha Stewart is a woman of wisdom. And the things that she is saying definitely should be heeded. They should definitely be paid attention to because this is a woman that knows what she is talking about. Really understand from a woman who knows what she's talking about, what you need to know about Meghan Markle. Let's get into it. Now, before I get started, my friend Paula, I'm working with her in her, her charity to support the, the facility that she has for her young people. I'm going to leave a link below. If you would like to participate in her raffle, please support it. My charity is working with her charity to help them to get this facility up for the students that go to her charity, her school. Um, and if you would like to possibly win one of the leather purses that she has up in her auction, in her raffle, uh, you could purchase for less than a cup of coffee to enter her raffles. If you would like to participate, the information is in the description. Purchase your raffle ticket. I wanna also give a really nice uh, shout out to Prince William because he has made his first royal visit since Kate's Catherine's cancer diagnosis. And I think you look at the work that he is doing and the authenticity of it. We definitely need to always remember to bring out the good that he is doing. He went to visit this surplus uh, to super a uh, surplus food redistribution charity in Sunbury on Thames where he helped volunteer sort and redistribute food at the charities hub at Sunbury Cricket Club to load deliveries into their vans and I just love watching him do the very simple work because he shows his humility with all the rich and support and privilege that he has he knows how to go back to what his mother Diana showed him and that is going back to your just showing humility that you you're not too good to do these things for people in need. And that's why I always want to support those less fortunate in the world, because this is the meaningful work that happens to help make the world a better place. And it's not using people to enrich yourself. It is to really do the true grounding good work of humility and to help people. If we've lost touch helping the elderly and the children, our most vulnerable people in the world, we've lost our humanity. And that's why supporting charities and the work that we do to help people with less than we have, that most people who try to you know, make a living the people that help the people that have less in this world need this support. And I think William bringing uh, support by his presence to the work that he is doing with this uh, food waste and food poverty is really good work. And I always just look at him with just complete awe that, you know, this man is all that he has. And yet he comes and he does this this work and you have to commend that. So, you know, you know, props are off to you, William, <laughs> you know, doing the work um, and just 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 doing it. Now, and then we got this whole thing with Megan. So we all have seen it. We, I'm sure you've seen it because we've got this new Instagram thing with Megan, you know, getting her friends to support her new strawberry jam. Her jam, her strawberry, I mean, princess to jam. She went from being a princess to selling jam. I mean, who would have thought? Or being a woman of, uh, of a certain family that was you know, given the opportunity to really go out and change the world to now selling strawberry jam. 
I mean, think about that. Think about the mindset of a woman who chose to leave a lifestyle where you could really, truly help people because that's what she says she wants to do, right? But then she takes that opportunity, just throws it away to the wind, and now is selling strawberry jam. So much so that people that saw this woman coming a mile away predicted it in an episode of The Prince when it was on HBO. Let's take a look at that. So all you'd have to do is Instagram yourselves using my ketchup. It'd be a huge help. I see. Well, that's something we'll definitely think about. Who's that? That's your nephew, Archie. You're pulling my leg. Why have we not met before? You've met him like a thousand times. So are you going to do the f***ing Instagram or not? I mean, really, folks? Really? I mean, Megan is so predictable. She is so unauthentic. She is so basic that she thinks, really, folks, she thinks, <laughs> you think you get ready to, you just get ready to rule the world for real for real oh okay you selling some strawberry jam now mm, okay <laughs> okay let me see let me just check you out <laughs> and we watching it's it's ridiculous it is so ridiculous what this woman is doing so her selling this has caused Prince or King Charles to sell out his his jams, his preserves, his his jelly. We say in America jelly. We don't call it preserves. We don't, you know, we, we call it something else. But, you know, this is the retaliation that she is getting from a country that despises what this woman is doing. And she thinks she is going to make it. I'm telling you, folks, seriously, we are watching with bated breath and, and just looking at this woman make a complete fool of herself. I mean, this show, the, the Prince knew it three years ago when they did this episode. So, yeah, that's, that's what's happening. <laughs> I mean, right on target with what this woman is doing. And, it's, and, and I, think that, I think that is what is so disturbing for me watching what she is doing to her family, what she's done to her friends, what she's done to, like to all the people that she thinks that she has to be so nasty towards, like watching her in this moment get her downfall is just so it's, it's just like, oh, yes, <laughs> it just feels so good because something's wrong with you. For real, for real. Hey, right. so with that, Martha Stewart. Yes, Martha Stewart has come out and saying that the comparison to this rookie Meghan Markle is irritating and it is insulting. Yes, this is what she is saying. So publicly, we know Martha Stewart, is she's going to be polite. She's going to be very cordial, you know, just like, oh, isn't that just so nice what Meghan Markle is doing? Very nice, very nice. <laughs> and then you close the door, then the real Martha Stewart comes out and tells you like it really is. <laughs> because you have to play the niceties in public. I mean, you're a public person. You don't want to be seen being nasty. And this is why I believe what this article is saying about what supposedly, allegedly, Martha Stewart has said. So we know with Megan recently revealing her new personal brand, American Riviera Orchard, uh, sources are saying uh, that Martha Stewart is uh, going all in with Megan's self-inflated hype. Really, she's tired of being quizzed by people over how she feels about Meghan Markle's venture because honestly, she's saying it's irritating and it is insulting. <laughs> Don't insult me with such questions in comparison. How dare you? <laughs> Don't compare me or ask me questions about this peon woman out there trying to, you know, do what she's doing. Because it's not working and it won't work. This is why King Charles has sold out his own preserves out of retaliation of what this woman is doing over here in America. It can't work. And all the people that think that they can support Megan and lift her up. You go, girl. You go, girl. We got you. You are just fooling yourself and wasting your energy. Because you will never be able to lift that woman up high enough to make a difference. I mean, just by what people have done with 
selling out the, the, the king's, his own preserves. As a matter of fact, when I go to England, I'm going to buy me some. That's right. <laughs> Just because, because of what this woman is trying to do. You know, this isn't the first time that Martha Stewart has been up against competition. We've got, you know, she's really the homemaking queen. She was the one. Well, I think they were saying when I said this last time that Julia Childs was really the first. She was more along the cooking, I think. But Martha Stewart took the cooking and she took all the other things that she made very popular. So I, to me, in my lifetime, I see Martha Stewart as the, you know, the trend setter of all of this but you know Julia Childs has done a great amount of work as well and I think uh, someone like a, a Martha Stewart has just picked up the reins from where Julia Childs left off. The competition that Martha Stewart has been compared to in the past is uh, Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop uh, and Stewart accused uh, the Oscar winning actress trying to mimic her and she said she just needs to be quiet. She's a movie star. If she were confident in her acting, she wouldn't be trying to be Martha Stewart. And I have to almost agree with Martha here. It's like stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. You are an actress. Do your acting thing. Okay, you want to sell a few things? Yeah, go ahead and sell them. But I think to the extent of what Gwyneth is, is doing, I mean, all of the items on her website are so overly priced. It's, it's absurd. It's obnoxious. According to this insider, Megan should be prepared now that she is stepping on Stu Stewart's stuff. But Martha spent decades building her brand and her foundation from the ground up with raw talent, which Megan doesn't have. She's got copycat talent. <laughs> she knows how to copy other people and to try to put her own brand on it. And she didn't even have the wherewithal to use the website that she had for her American Riviera orchard. She didn't even have the wherewithal to purchase the one with the UK domain. Have you heard about this? Yeah, someone has, uh, who's a fan of Catherine, has purchased that website and now it goes to uh, support this uh, other charity and to other works. But making, she, she's, she has a half website that is only really for the American audience and it's not even pointing to the UK audience, which, yeah, God forbid this woman try to go back to the United Kingdom. I mean, really, it's just going to be not a good thing for her. Um, it, now, they're also saying if Megan thinks she can come along and replicate that, that uh, what, Martha is do, what Martha Stewart is doing, uh, barely with enough experience, simply because she married a prince, she better think again. This is what this source is, is saying. And it's, it's like, it's true. It's like Megan does all of these things because she married a prince. She made all this money doing this Netflix and with Spotify, which later Spotify has told us like they're really the worst of the worst. But in the beginning, people bought into them all because of who she married. Not because she had a lot of talent, but because of who she married. It's, it's, it's nonsense. Um, Martha doesn't put a whole lot of faith in her succeeding, meaning, meaning Meghan Markle. But if she does prove to be any competition, Martha won't hold back in trying to take her down. She's still just a competitive, as competitive as she has ever been. This insider says that Stewart's past judgmental jabs haven't been limited to pal throw. She's also been equally catty towards TV chef Rachel Ray and talk show host Kelly Clarkson. She plays nice for the cameras, but behind the scenes, she can be vicious. I think I could look at her as someone like the American version of a Lady C. Martha Stewart is in her age, in her life of experience and knowledge and wisdom, and she's just not going to take it. So if Megan thinks she can come and just take over what Martha has started, girl, you better, you got another thing coming. And that's why I say get your popcorn, because it really is fascinating to watch, to look at this woman and all that she's trying to do. It just is. It's it's so unbelievably stupid and ridiculous.
Uh, however, insiders insist the threat of earning Stewart's wrath isn't likely to derail the dreams of Megan, who sees her latest venture as her make or break chance to finally prove herself in Hollywood. But her project has apparently hit a speed bump. Megan missed a self-declared April 7th public announcement about her brand, and critics are wondering if troubles in the royal family have prevented the launch. That would be a total disaster. She poured so much money and time into this. Her whole brand and reputation are on the line. Um, sources say that Meghan and Harry left their palace duties and moved to Montecito with hopes of becoming power players. That's what their hope was. Power players. But they haven't made the splash or the clash they were counting or the cash they were counting on. Their podcast deal, we know with Spotify, hit a, hit a complete halt with them being branded lazy by the executive of that company. And now sources say that the couple's reported $100 million deal with Netflix may not be renewed because they've worn out their welcome. Megan is under massive and a massive amount of pressure. To make this work, she and Harry have overspent. They are living a very lavish lifestyle beyond their means, says this insider. If they don't turn this around, they could end up in the poorhouse. Martha can be nasty as she likes. Megan will just keep plowing ahead. She's got no choice. And that's exactly right. So when people like Martha Stewart come out and, you know, hand you a new one and say, girl, you better get out the way and <laughs> get out the way. I ain't playing with you. Really, that's what Martha is saying about Megan. Megan, she doesn't have a choice. It's, it's like this is her make or break opportunity. And you can imagine she's sweating. And this is why when they did that whole photo thing at the polo and announced what they're doing, this is the make or break for them. You have to have success. And when you have this amount of pressure on you to be successful and to make money, to continue living your lavish lifestyle, you're not going to be successful because you're counting on the money making rather than your raw talent and your love for doing it. Harry wants to do this whole thing around polo now. Okay, go ahead, do your polo, Harry. Just do your polo. And we're going to tell you why it's so wrong and not worthy once you do it. Because people are waiting to criticize them. And this is what it all comes down to for Harry and Meghan. So no matter what you see them doing, no matter what the venture is that Harry and Meghan will pursue, they will always find themselves at the bottom on the losing end of any venture. They don't have celebrities on their side that have the talent. They have the people, celebrities who want to make a dime off of them or who don't really understand what this couple have done. But there are a lot of people like Martha Stewart who know where Harry and Meghan are coming from, especially Meghan, because she is the driving force behind Harry even wanting to produce a polo thing. OK, she's the reason, folks. They won't be successful because they lack the humility. They lack the the wherewithal to just humble themselves. Megan has come out the gate with no humility and being able to humble herself. And I'll keep saying it because I want us to always come back to why. Always come back to what the new story is and why it won't work. As we eat our popcorn and just say, oh, okay, you gonna sell some jam now, girl. <laughs> you gonna sell some jam. Okay, sell your jam. <laughs> I got my popcorn. We're going to see what's going to happen. OK. <laughs> and it will always come down to this. For Megan came out the gate from the time she left her first husband or second husband. She has been this person that has thought that she's had to create this nasty, I'm not in your league kind of a person. She doesn't go back to the bare root of humility and remaining a simple person despite the issues you may have with people. She's always wanted to backstab people like they were the devil or they're the, you know, Satan incarnate. Like she's always wanted to be this force for evil towards people that she thought would hinder her plight to being super famous. And Megan is not in an era where before she could have been very famous by 
acting this way towards people. But we're in a new age. And your backstabbing eh, 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 evil ways are not going to fly in today's world. It's not. And I want to come back to a quote. Because we see everything that Megan has done with friends and family. But I'm going to put in here family and friends. But the quote is just family. But it says... This is part of what a family and what friends are all about, not just love. It is knowing that your family will be there watching out for you. Nothing else will give you that. Not money, not fame, not work. By Mitchell Album. Megan could have had the whole world watching out for her and rooting for her. But instead, she felt like she had to backstab all these people to get to where she wants, rather than being real and knowing that people have flaws. Even her family have flaws. Even she has flaws. Overlooking these things and just being a good person, a nice person. For your family, for your friends, doing right by people, not burning bridges, doing the right thing. We could have all been rooting for her while selling her jams. While selling whatever it is that she thinks she's going to sell and become a superstar. The whole world could have been rooting for her. But she felt like she had to play not nice by people to get to where she wants rather than being real. So seek your fame and Megan, seek your fortunes, seek your money, your, your all these things of privilege that you think you're going to get. Keep seeking it. But always know this, people will not be rooting for you. And without the people rooting for you, you will never be successful because what you are seeking is just not important. Family. Friends are what is important. And she has continually thrown those things away. This is why she will never find success.